What up, everybody? It's me, Bitchy, here back giving another show. Here, honey, coming to you live from the beautiful Urban Light, beautiful Urban Light art um, lights. <laughs> They're urban and their lights, I guess. Um, I thought it was Urban Lights, but it's just Urban Light, not plural, even though there's more than one. It's just Urban Light, and you know, you see the palm trees, it's just a, a pole. <laughs> But those are the urban light. That's the urban light, I mean. As you can see, there's a lot of people down here. Um, I'm over here secluded because I don't want nobody clocking my tea while I spill it with y'all. So um, here to clock some tea, like I said, we're gonna be coming to you from new areas in Los Angeles, new places, new things, new everything, I mean, new. Let's hop into these hot topics, honey, because there's a lot to spill and a lot to sip on with. Let's start out with these Aziz and Zari allegations. Um, if you haven't heard, bitch, Aziz, uh so aziz was um allegedly accused of sexual assault i guess an anonymous woman had came out uh she came forward during the Golden globes or whatever the agg's acg's or whatever awards just happened and said that you know during a basically a one night stand was what it sounded like to me her and aziz you know gave each other head excuse me for being so vulgar but that's what happened Wendy Williams said professionals know they gave each other head. <laughs> um, and she said that she was giving nonverbal cues that she didn't really want to go forward with it. Nonverbal cue, nonverbal cues, I guess, was like getting up and going to the restroom or I guess, you know, like nudging her shoulder when he was playing with her Hello Kitty and just other nonverbal things to not saying no. And... You know, basically, there was this up this backlash and this uproar um, saying that, you know, this is a setback for the Me Too movement because this wasn't sexual assault. This was just bad head. And you shouldn't have come out and almost ruined this man's career over bad head. And to me, my thoughts and my opinions on it is that ladies and gentlemen, because pe men are sexually assaulted as well, you have to speak up. If you don't want something to happen you need to say no as soon as no is established honey anything after no is sexual assault that's when you can come out and say bitch i said no and even after i said no he still ate my hello kitty and that's sexual assault there right there i'm with you girl aziz bitch please you're going to jail if that would have been the case but i just can't with the non-verbal cues you have to say no ladies and gentlemen you have the power this is me being serious, even though I'm making a little bit of comedy jokes about it. This is me being serious. You have the power. There's power in the word no. So from now on, I need everybody to say no. Aziz, bitch, please pay attention to nonverbal cues from now on, I guess, girl, because you don't want to end up in this situation again. Make sure you ask her, do you like the way I'm eating this? Make sure you look up in her eyes and ask her and get a yes or a no. Next, I want to talk about this Oprah 2020 everybody was talking about oprah i guess becoming president and i'm not really i don't want oprah to become president um sophia from the color purple i'll take sophia <laughs> sophia that lady said would you like to be my maid sophia said hell no what did you say i said hell no gal what did you say to miss millie i can see donna what did you say to what did you say to ivanka gal i said hell Donald Slapper, she bow, knocked Donald's ass out. Sophia for president. My vote for 2020 is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Next. Chicago West, honey. Let me give a shout out to Kim and Kanye on their third child via surrogate. Chicago West. And everybody is up in arms because they're doing the most. But we all know that the Kanye West, I mean the West Kardashians and the Kardashian Wests are known for doing the most. So we can't really be surprised by Chicago West. Kanye loves his city. I love my city too. I would have rather them named her maybe Willowbrook, you know, um, Oak Brook, Illinois, or something like that, or Cicero, or Wrigleyville, something like that. <laughs> United Center, United Center, bitch, they could have had a sponsorship with United, you know they love sponsorships, bitch. So shout out to Kanye and Kim on um, Chicago West, and North and Saint have a new little brother, no little sister, I mean. Next, I want to talk about Kodak Black, bitch, really quickly, because he's stupid like these other rappers who are on probation and keep doing shit that's going to get them locked up. He was allegedly caught with guns, weapons, marijuana, weed, drugs, and everything else, allegedly. And he's back in jail, and he's facing a lot of time, and I, I don't really care for him. Don't, I couldn't tell you one Kodak Black song. Um, 
him and Meek both was on probation and did stupid shit. So when you get out, if you get out, Kodak, I know Meek will be out. But Kodak, if you get out, stop doing stupid shit on probation. Roseanne, I want to talk about this Roseanne reboot and talk about how here I am for this Roseanne reboot. I cannot wait, honey. They said Darlene is divorced, bitch. Um, I guess Darlene and David didn't divorce. You know, David was sensitive as hell and Darlene was the dominant demonic spirit in the, in the relationship. So we'll see what happened with that. Um, I'm guessing it'll be start off with Roseanne continuing writing her book like psych y'all Dan did not die he's really alive and this is what really happened that's how I'm seeing this starting off so I'm so here for this Roseanne reboot and I will be watching every episode and we will recap it here on the Dorobo Chibi show Jay-Z I want to give Jay-Z the yes ma'am of the night award for getting this glad award for his mother coming out as a lesbian on the 444 album um congrats to mother Z Mother Z, you know, he said that, you know, mama was a lesbian, had to hide in the closet and stuff like that. And now she's out and proud and she's in love. And Jay said, you're in love, so I'm in love and we're all in love. So shout out to Jay and yes, man, for Mama Z. I want to talk about the government shutting down, bitch. That's one of the biggest things that we really need to talk about, bitch. The government shut down non-essential employees only, I guess, but still. Um, Donald in his first year, y'all president, because like I keep saying, he's not mine. Dwayne The Rock Johnson 2020, but um, Donald in his first year managed to have the whole country shut down. I mean, the government. Thank God it's not essential shit like the police and um, fire and rescue, bitch, or SWAT or the army. Imagine what's going to happen when Donald fucks everything up and that happens and that shuts down, bitch. What you going to do then? What you going to do now? Next, I want to talk about this Fredo Star. Fredo Star, I guess, was this rapper from Chicago. Um, very well known on my timeline. A lot of people knew him, was giving their condolences. I'm giving my condolences as well. Um, he died this past weekend um, of a massive stroke or seizure, I believe it was. And I guess they were saying that it was due to... Uh, damn, my arm hurt. They were saying it was due to lean and uh, a host of other drugs and... I never really understood lean and doing any other drug other than my flower, which is prescribed by a doctor, so don't judge. But those hard drugs and that shit that really messes you up and turns you into another person, because my flower, I'm still D. <laughs> but these powders and these pills and potions, bitch, lead that to Nicki Minaj and her songs. Um, I'm not down with the lean. The only thing I lean is lean back when lean back come on by Fat Joe and Remy Ma. So, goodbye to the lean, down with lean. Rest in peace, Fredo Star. Um, condolences to your friends and your family and all of your fans. I hope this is a wake-up call to them other people. All these other people are like, don't try and say I hope this is a wake-up call. Uh, that's what people need to hear. Let this be a wake-up call. Dummies. Next, I'm going to need to hear. Let this be a wake-up call. Dummies. Next, I'm going to give a shout-out to Drake. Drake is back, bitch. Two or three new songs. Shout-out to Drizzy. Drizzy always does this. He'll drop his shit, come back, and slay. And he's probably going to continue to slay for the rest of 2018. So y'all might as well just sit down, basically. Jaden already went on tour, so now Drake is like, okay, I'm back. Shout-out to Drizzy. Um, I want to talk about this man who wore all of his shit on a flight because he didn't want to pay for the baggage fees, bitch. Genius. Because... I just took a flight, bitch, and United was charging $25 both ways for the block bags. Southwest, Southwest, Team Southwest, if you need a sponsorship or you want to sponsor me, Southwest, y'all are the best airline out there. Bags fly for fleet, free, and y'all always got to sell. Not always with the sickening airports, but y'all always got to sell. Fly Southwest. That's an ad. Free ad for y'all. Um, but yeah, genius bitch, she got kicked off the plane, but still, next time what you want to do is you want to put the thick shit in the bag that can go under your seat, and then you want to wear all of the basketball shorts and the more thinner tees so that you can still get your feet better across your lap. Gotta think. I'm, I'm a crafty queen, honey. Next, I want to talk about this Ja Rule versus 50 Cent Part 2. We're going to get over it with this quick, bitch. Ja Rule, 50 Cent said something about Ja Rule on the radio. And Ja got on Twitter mad, boo, talking about um, 50 is a P-U-S-S-Y. And I smell P-U-S-S-Y is that you 50. Over and done. Ain't nobody going to catch no fade for all of my trade who watching. I'm giving y'all my trade lingo. Yes, I'm a nigga too. Don't get it twisted, nigga. Uh, ain't nobody going to catch no fade. Ain't nobody throwing no fades. And ain't nobody catching no fades. So, fade away. Um, last time but not least, I want to talk about, oh no, not last, last time but not least, I want to talk about this Monique situation, bitch. Monique is over it, honey, talking about, y'all, Netflix only offered me 500000 and they're offering Chris Rock 
and Kevin Hart and the Mammalian. Girl, and I'm this is no shade to Monique because we love you, girl. You're a legend. You're we all know you from uh, 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 where the podcast we're doing things and you can swing. Come join us, join us with the podcast. Zang, we're doing things and you can swing. Come join us. Oh, let's pour. With the Parker, <laughs> we all know you from the Parkers, girl. But and we all know you from Precious. You invited that white bitch to my house, and you told that white bitch to come here over here. Get your ass down here, Precious. We know you from that, Monique. But girl, five hundred thousand to me was enough. Seven fifty. Would you have been happy with another two fifty on top of the five? Because Chris Rock and Kevin Hart and Amy Schumer, they're selling out stadiums and arenas. And this is no shade to Monique. Monique is funny as hell. Love her on the Queens of Comedy. Legend, like I said, we're the Parkers. But girl, I'm not boycotting Netflix, honey. They got too many good shows and too many good movies for cheap. No. Except the five. See if they'll go for 250. Two mo 250 mo. On top of the five. You can't take 750. You go up. Go up. Last but not least, I want to talk about and say yes, ma'am, to me for predicting the Super Bowl. Like I said, Patriots, Eagles, with the Eagles coming out on top is my new prediction for the winner of the Super Bowl now. Eagles are going to fight through this bitch, and they're going to come out on top for that city. Tom Brady is a lethal weapon, bitch. More lethal than Danny Glover and whatever. I forgot what that white man name was who was on lethal weapon, but him too. Danny Glover and him. It's not Woody Harrelson. I can't think. Mel Gibson. Tom Brady's a lethal weapon, bitch. He can fight out of any situation. He only needs literally two minutes to come back and win a situation. So if y'all can keep them within two possessions, bitch, if y'all was winning within two position, two possessions with two minutes left, I may give it to you, but he may come back, get a touchdown, onside kick, and another touchdown. So Eagles, come on and fly, bitch. That's all I can say. That's it for tonight, honey. We will be back on Thursday with the podcast. And, yeah, this week's topics um, are... Bitch, I done lost the paper. I done lost the paper, bitch. Oh, no, it's in my pocket. I found it. Um, This week's topics for the podcast are um, supportive and unsupportive friends or family. We're going to talk about that with the people who are maybe musicians or artists or YouTubers or fashion moguls who create their own clothing lines or uh, massage therapists who ask their friends and family for support and don't get it or get it. We'll talk about both sides. We're going to be talking about dating DL men. That's going to get sticky bitch that's gonna get sticky because that's that's a hot topic with me that's a that's a deep topic with me so we're gonna get sticky with that one and moving to a new state alone as you all know i've moved to beautiful like i said los angeles by myself and i want to give advice to other people who may want to do the same follow me on twitter look at underscore d now 88 follow me on instagram at d nice 12 8 and follow me follow the snapchat and daily look at this what's happening right now T on Snapchat at the one twelve eighty eight. Two says Urban Light. Two says.